Ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise, and welcome back to From the Depths Most Wanted, where we're back with the Scarlet Dawn, because by gum there, you can never get enough of the Scarlet Dawn when it comes to Most Wanted, because everybody wants them, or wants to know how to shoot them dead. So today's uh, Scarlet Dawn vehicle uh, was requested by the creator of said vehicle, uh, Rolling Chair. Uh, and we're covering it because this is the kind of thing that, um, it is not a godly craft, it is only medium difficulty, I say only, um, but it's one of those things that, uh, it really has the elements of, like, oops, I wasn't expecting this thing, and so here it is. Uh, actually, looking at that screenshot, it looks like it's been updated a fair bit, it looks like it used to have, used to have big missiles, and doesn't appear to have that anymore, so this is the new shiny Deimos. I forget what Deimos is, I think I think it's the name of a Greek god, actually. Deimos and Phobos. Actually, yeah, son of Ares. Also, the moons of... Uh, Deimos is one of the moons of Mars. But I digress. So, uh, the fun thing about the Deimos is that this isn't so much a thruster craft with a laser gun uh, so much as it is a laser gun. <laughs> with the thruster craft kind of tacked onto the back a little bit, and some armor in the front. Uh, this is a gigantic laser. It is very, very big. It's very, very strong. It has three combiners up there for, I guess, no other reason than uh, fun and giggles. And that is elevation turret. We've got, uh, we've got SeaWiz controllers over there. We've got... Uh, we got SeaWiz, we got low. Yeah, so that's one of the main interesting things about this thing in general, is that uh, this main armament doubles as uh, one of its main uh, defenses. Uh, let's see what this... Uh, set generator for us to blah blah blah. blah, blah, blah. Okay, so it's got ACP control. I digress again. So what is the strength of this thing? Well... Uh, well, it scoots sideways quite quickly, that's for sure. Uh, if you spawn in, oh, I don't know, something that, um, something that is usually kind of hard to melt, whereas, let's spawn in the Eerie, the Eerie's fun to shoot at, so, before we, uh, we need to get over to the Eerie, so as you can see what this laser does against anything that is not ready for it, um, yeah, so the Eerie is immediately 7% health uh, taken off, and, uh, you'll see that laser... Uh, zaps incoming cram shells and missiles should spawn in the palisade next actually um, Not entirely fi fair fight because the Eerie is a uh, fair bit cheaper and also an earlier faction uh, craft uh, Than uh, the Deimos, but this is, well, well, this is the main thing to worry about this this uh, Has a laser that would make the lightning hoods uh, very envious and uh, It sure knows how to use it. It's just it look at that stream of block confetti just going neom zoom, and it works on missiles as well. So if we uh, wait for this laser to fully recharge, the laser is very strong. It's a very strong initial burst uh, too. Um, so this thing is optimized basically. Uh, you see there, the pumps don't quite keep up with the output, but it doesn't really matter because they can still do a, a lot, huge amount of damage, um, even when they're just you know breaking even. And uh, the first few seconds of this thing firing is arguably the most important part of uh, when you're firing a laser because it's a zero Q laser and you can see uh, the damage of the next shot is 1247. Uh, that's 40 times per second. So in the first uh, one second of this laser of finding its target, it's like 1200 times 40. Let me pull out my calculator just for fun. 1000 seven times 40 it's not ex it's not a perfect uh, bit of math uh, because that number does drop uh, actually yeah let's round it down 1200 times 40 uh, so it does like in the first second 48,000 damage before it drops down so uh, that is enough to oh I don't know uh, rip 7% um, health off an eerie let's chuck in a palisade there's a palisade there it goes so the big turret sc uh, scrolls down, and that initial burst, uh, which is why this thing is scary, uh, does something like that. It, uh, did that just... I think it, yep, it just AI, it just immediately AI deaded the thing. 
instantly. Yeah, I think this is where the ammo compartment used to be. Yeah, it's in fact, it, wow, it killed the AI so quickly that I don't think the words popped up immediately. It was just like, huh, what? What's happening? What's happening now? So that's how strong that laser is. Um, if you're not ready for strong lasers, uh, you are not ready to fight this thing. And uh, you also notice that it backpedals like crazy. So, or rather it sidesteps like crazy. So if I spawn in uh, the palisade again, and this time I protect its feelings with God mode. Whoops, I didn't mean to pause. So this thing is heading sideways uh, really quickly. This thing strafes like no one's business. It also has missile interceptors in addition to uh, all those uh, to that big sea whiz laser. And a lambs as well. And I believe the lambs is uh, pulling double duty. Yep. So you can see even uh, something like the Palisade, um, which has a pretty decent large uh, missile barrage, uh, doesn't get through this. You need quite a fair amount of overkill to deal with this. Let's just check um, uh, what things the lambs are using. So where's the lambs? Where's the lamb? Bah! Where's the lambs? Where is the lambs? There we go. So the lambs is uh, is running off the same system as the offensive laser, which normally is a terrible idea, but. Um, in this case, the laser system is so damn big um, that uh, it doesn't really matter that much. As you can see, it's just eating um, uh, these missiles for breakfast. So, uh, just anything short of an absolutely ridiculous uh, missile barrage is not really going to do anything against the Deimos. It also has a strong uh, shield. So, if we go in there, you'll see... Uh, we've got a, just casually a Drive 10 shield. I tend not to use shields because I'm boring, but uh, if you could do that, you'll see it's got uh, almost full coverage from the front. And since this is a front sider, it points its front at the front, really. So, yeah, so this is probably why it doesn't really bother with uh, decoys or anything like that, is because these things run really hot. It's actually managed to knock a block off. I'm impressed. I'm impressed, Palisade. And lots of surge protectors as well to guard the squishy bits. There's an FDK panel for no particular reason. And interceptors back. So it has a bunch of interceptors back here. A lot of them, in fact. Let's go here. Let's see. Uh, what do you... It's got friend or foe, which you don't actually need with interceptors. Let's see. What do you need? Interesting. It doesn't even have fins. It uses turning thrusters. Which I suppose makes perfect sense. Uh, so there's 40 interceptors over here. And there's another 40 over here. So that's 80 interceptors, just, you know, casually, uh, just in the back, just to help with popping missiles. And I haven't shown you the armor on this thing yet. Um, let's zoom out. You'll notice that there is a lot of heavy armor in here. And in particular, uh, you've got a lot of heavy armor slopes. So this is a very common thing uh, with um, late game front sighting thruster craft. Uh, this is the best kind of kinetic defense you can hope for, so long as you can control exactly which uh, end of your craft is pointing at the enemy, because I forget the actual numbers, but the kinetic projectiles like APS or CRAM or even simple weapons, um, if they hit something that's sloped, uh, they do less kinetic damage. And this is the sharpest slope uh, you can possibly get. And so you're going to have a real... It's not going to be in a very easy time getting through the front of this thing uh, with kinetic weapons. Because you can see here, uh, from the front, what is that? That is a heavy armor slope, that is a heavy armor beam. So it's already got um, uh, just over two layers of heavy armor. Actually, three layers. And then you've got one, two... You've got uh, multiple slopes. Just uh, lots and lots of slopes. And down the middle, there's huge amounts of slopes. And yeah, so Heat and Hesh also doesn't do... Well, Hesh uh, kind of does okay, but since the uh, the Hesh spalling is kinetic damage as well, it doesn't do super great against these wedges. So this thing is very tough uh, from the front. And uh, like I said before, uh, Overkill is your main way of dealing with this thing. And uh, getting back to the laser for a hot second, if we just delete this, uh, and if I spawn in oh, a reasonably inoffensive submarine... Uh, let's spawn in. Let's spawn in. Where is it? Let's spawn in a spite. Let's spawn in three uh, spites just to see what happens. 
So, since submarines uh, start uh, on the surface of the water, um, you need to, like, really make sure they sink quickly, otherwise this happens. Also, these damn things repair each other, which also helps. And, let's see here, shooting missiles, shooting missiles, doesn't even care about shooting missiles. It's, oh, jeez, it's been over six million. Oh, wait, I might be uh, misunderstanding that. So if I... Oh, wow. Uh, it's actually zapped um, something clean off the submarine. So, you'll notice the... Ah, that's beautiful. That's beautiful block confetti being seen right there. Is uh, This laser is so strong that uh, submarines that are too close to the surface uh, will get shredded by it. So, let's uh, turn these weapons off. And let us do this. And let's do that. And let's, let's aim here. That thing is underwater, and this laser is still annihilating it. That's how strong this laser is. Like, you can't just hide underwater and uh, think to yourself, like, okay, that'll do. Um, this is also another reason why it's a good idea to have flying things use lasers, is because um, at shallow angles, the laser will be shining straight to the water, and that's no good. Uh, but at, like, steeper angles, it can... Uh, it can actually do a number on submarines, like, in specific circumstances. So, uh, don't think you can just cheese the the Scarlet Dawn with just, you know, a very simple submarine that just hides just under the water. Uh, you can't, because uh, even they have dedicated uh, anti-submarine craft, and even the ones which aren't like this, they can, uh, they can still hurt your feelings. And uh, considering that one of the best armaments for submarines is missiles, um... You're gonna have a hard time uh, hurting this thing straight back unless you plan ahead. Speaking of planning ahead, let's go over this thing's weaknesses because it does have a few. Um, the first one is that the main armament, seeing as it's a very strong laser and it's also having your main weapon also doubling as one of your main forms of defense means uh, you can get distracted easily. So if we have... Where are you? Let's have... A swarm of hornets' nests. So it's gonna just instantly kill um, some of these things. But let's see here. Is it gonna get distracted? Yes. Uh, that laser gets distracted. And it's. Wow, it's actually managing. The hornets' nests are actually managing to land shots on this. Oh, PC, don't fret. But don't. Um, don't die on me now. So. Really extreme missile swarms. We're even losing blocks. Um. They can kind of distract that main laser, uh, because it will, well, as you can see, it is, um, it's still shooting, uh, these small missiles, and it is getting distracted. So if you use, uh, kinetic missiles, or just swarms of missiles, like real Lathrixian-style spam swarms, uh, of them, uh, uh, Macross Missile Massacre, I believe, is the technical term. I have no idea if that's the technical term. Uh, you can actually distract the primary and, in fact, only real armament on this thing. So, uh, this thing has a short attention span. It will shoot missiles and it will shoot uh, enemy craft. In fact, it just did. One of the Hornet's Nests is dead already. Uh, but it could have killed all of them, uh, like, long ago, if it wasn't being distracted by their ammunition. So, uh, it'll shoot missiles, it'll shoot enemy craft, but it won't do both at the same time because, well, it can't. It's just one turret. And, interestingly, this thing is not quite fast enough uh, to dodge uh, cram shells. I have uh, seen it get hit by them, so let's spawn in something that has a lot of cram. And I'm going to set it to uh, god mode just so you can see it. Where is... what is it? It's the Trondheim. There we go. I'm going to set that on god mode just so it doesn't die instantly because this is just for demonstration purposes. So this thing doesn't vary in height a lot. Actually, I'm going to send you on god mode as well. Just be careful. I forgot it has that freaking sea whiz. That looks really cool, actually. Okay, that was not the best uh, cram example. Alright, let's try a different steel striders craft. Let's try... Actually, the great white is... Actually, Great White is a good example of a counter this thing, even though it costs, like, twice as much. No, don't you dare. 
So we see here... Right there, like, crams can hit this thing. And sure, it does move fast, uh, but it's moving reasonably slowly at the moment. What's it doing? It's moving at 20 meters per second sideways. And crams are landing on target. So that is a bit of a game changer. And also you can see the huge missiles are just tanking all of the active defenses. Um, a thruster craft, a front sighting thruster craft that um, does not dodge crams... That's a bit of a serious weakness, and the reason for that is that it doesn't vary its height uh, at all. It doesn't bounce up and down. It does strafe side to side in a big circle. See over there... Those crams are actually going to hit us. Yes, see there? They're bouncing off the shields because they don't have initial fuses. Silly, silly. Uh, but they are uh, getting close. And uh, that... Um, main laser turret was distracted by them going past it. It was aiming for things behind it. So, when in doubt, spam the ducker. You'll get through. This is actually, I think, one of the very few uh, Scarlet Dawncraft which can be... You can shoot to death with cram spam. You can't do that with many of them. To be fair, this is a medium craft and probably would be bad if you couldn't. But I digress. So, uh, it means that all that armor... Uh, in the front can be circumvented uh, by very, very big guns, and lots of them. If you can get through uh, the interceptors, if you can get through the lambs, and if you can get through the big laser itself, uh, you can kill this thing with cram cannons and missiles. And missiles and cram cannons. And another thing that is probably very important to note, and I'm going to turn God Mode off uh, for this purpose, is you would have noticed when I was poking around in here, so more shift P is lovely. Uh, hello, uh, more shift P, please. I want more shift P. That sounded weird. Uh, you'll notice there's shields in here, there's herd protectors in here, uh, there's uh, things in here. There is a complete lack of smoke, which, on the one hand, it makes sense. This thing's main armament is a laser, and you don't want to weaken your own weapon um, unnecessarily, but it means that this thing is extremely vulnerable to lasers itself and if you oh i don't know if you run up against something uh, that has lasers so this is 400 and it has the materials let's find something with big lasers actually a mirror match of this would be hilarious so let's go there uh who will win and uh, let's turn repair bots off and you see that um the shields only do so much, and jeez, these things are murdering each other. Uh, the shields reduce uh, incoming laser fire. Actually, let's let's double check here. I believe I can check that right here while it's being shot at. Uh, so let's see there. Let's go here. Yeah, so laser AP reduced to thirty percent, which is. Pretty good, actually. But with a laser this strong, uh, that's not enough. Uh, if you really want uh, good laser defense, you need to stack both um, uh, shields and smoke. And smoke, at the very least. Uh, so, uh, we've been put straight into the ocean, which uh, sucks for us. And our laser is damaged, so uh, that's uh, no good. This thing is very vulnerable to lasers. Um, actually, very is a little bit of exaggeration. It's vulnerable to strong lasers. Uh, this is exactly uh, the kind of thing you do not want to bring with you if you're taking on the Lightning Hoods, for example, because they have ridiculously strong lasers. Yes, uh, they'd be envious of this laser gun, um, but at the same time, uh, they would shoot this thing straight out of the sky. I'll demonstrate that right now, actually, so... Come on. Out of the water completely. There you go, lad. You're up out of the water, and now let's put you back in it. So, let's go hard. Let's have... Uh, Angstrom. Let's, uh... Let's spawn in two megawatts, actually. So you see, whoopsie, daisy, uh, instant block confetti. So, uh... The Deimos is definitely dishing it out as much as it's taken, but, uh... It's also losing blocks really fast. And um, the Megawatt, I don't think, has... Like, this is not as strong as lasers get. Let's see, then. Are we losing critical components? 
not yet. I think the Megawatt also has a uh, burst lasers. It doesn't uh, it doesn't care about sustained damage. Although it is just disintegrated both of them. So yeah, three percent health, um, two craft, uh, which is um, less expensive than it, and yet it's a uh, it's a uh, so had a bit more than the paint scratched off. Let's say that. Yeah, actually, I think. Yeah, actually, like, it, uh, it lost a few thrusters from that. Or was very close to. Let's see, what's over there? What used to be here? What used to be here? Yeah, it was getting right close into losing uh, the thrusters on one side, which is bad for a flying thing. Also, the laser barrel. Let's talk about this laser barrel. So, if I, I shrink everything, actually, if I go and... Uh, make the shields invisible again so we can see what on earth we're doing. Hello? Shields? Uh, hello? Uh, 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 hello? Hello? Shields? 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 Uh, yeah. Alright, so you notice that this thing is a, just a giant slab of heavy armor and where it's not heavy armor it's metal and where it's not metal or heavy armor it's uh, heavy armor ducts. Uh, that stops uh, when you get to the turret. So got the turret block right here, it's surrounded by heavy armor, heavy armor, heavy armor, etc, etc, etc. And then you've got uh, the two axis turret itself, which has a little bit of heavy armor here and there. And then the laser barrel itself has a bunch of applique and metal by the looks of it. So let's go here, yep. So I see metal, I see applique, I see armored laser optics, which to be fair are pretty tough. Uh, 60 armor is no, nothing to sneeze at. And um, that's it though, so uh, this barrel tends to get sniped off, um, I tend to find. Uh, particularly if some kind of thumpy thing, like uh, a big missile or a shell or something like that. Um, explosions, it's uh, not doing, it uh, does pretty okay with, because high armor, let's see here. Let's do 10,000 and let's do 20, let's see what happens. Is that off? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that is... Let's see here. What's a... That is a somewhat hefty a hollow point shell. Maybe a medium kinetic missile. And we have uh, sniped two of the laser barrels off. And if that happens again... Oh boy. Stripping things off. Yeah. Let's uh, do that again. That was actually kind of fun to do. I'm going to do it again just because I can. Because I got the touch. I got the power. So if it gets hit here, zap. Uh oh, there go all of the <laughs> there goes all the laser barrels. So I'm not saying this is bad. Like you have to make compromises if you want to make the turret, you know, track quickly and also look cool. Um, but yeah, the barrel is the weak point. So this thing, like a lot of frontsiders actually, it's vulnerable to getting hit on uh, from above, and like most things that have one big uh, weapon. Uh, particularly one big turret, if the turret is taken out, uh, this thing is rendered completely helpless. So, uh, turret is the weak point. Punch it in the face. And so how do you survive this? Well, I've already dropped, well, as per usual, I've already dropped a bunch of hints of that. Uh, one thing you can do is, and let's, uh, well, as the hornlessness demonstrated, you can distract its main armament uh, by chucking loads of munitions at it. You can just throw lots of expendable little munitions, uh, at it, and it will stop shooting you to shoot um, the things you're throwing at it. And in that time, you can just kind of chip away through its armor and kill it. I've inadvertently skipped ahead of the script and talked about how to kill it. You also use a lot of smoke, so if we have... Oh, let's find a thing. I wonder if a tear can take this on. Well, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's do science. Uh, where's the tear? There's the tear. The tear has smoke. So let's see what the tear uh, does. Will the tear uh, cause tears for the demos? Or... Oh boy. So the tear has already lost 2% health, which is not good for the tear. Uh, but yep, so there's missile spam distracting the main gun and letting the uh, main guns... Well, wow, I could not... This is not scripted, I swear. I, how would I script this? Um, but that is a perfect example of um, what I was talking about. Those, uh, as soon as big artillery gets flung around, uh, those laser barrels get shot off. 
uh, pretty easy. To be fair, the tier is um, about twice the cost of this thing. Uh, but it is a broadsider versus a frontsider, and frontsiders tend to have the advantage usually. So yeah, it's like, uh, yeah, you're seeing heavy armor blocks uh, fall off. And uh, Tyr has smoke, so Tyr is surviving that laser a lot better than something that wouldn't. And it's just going to repeatedly uh, put shells into this thing's face until it falls out of the sky. Bang. Yep, and there's more... Oh no, that's a plique falling off. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. That looks like... Something important just got disabled. Yeah, don't know what happened there, but this is what happens if you rely entirely on just one big weapon. It's, um... Actually, no, it's still working. Wonder what happened there. That was bizarre and strange. Also, this thing kind of sits kind of close um, to the target. It's only about um, uh, 1,300 meters away, which I guess is uh, convenient for shooting things with a big laser, but is also convenient for them to shoot you straight back. Wait a minute. Did this thing have smoke the whole time? It did have smoke. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Have I made a whoopsie? That looks like the smoke was in the AI compartment. Let's see here. Is there smoke back here? Huh. Where would that be? Where, 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 where? I wish I still had the block count mod. That would be so convenient. Oh, hello. I didn't see you. Oh, it's got torpedo... Uh, what's it? Oh, it's got torpedoes uh, with... Uh, that's weird. Why does it have this? Sonar target simulator? It should have a... It should have a sonar boy uh, for that. Unless I'm missing something. Unless this is some kind of miracle matter that I do not know of. Um, where's the smoke? I saw smoke. I saw smoke blocks uh, falling off of this. I swear I'm not crazy. I swear I am not crazy. Where, 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 where? Here? No? Okay. Let us do this, and all right, we've turned the paint off. Let's see here. Damn, how would you even know, man? How would you even know? There's more custom jets. Am I a dummy? Did I miss the smoke? I didn't see this thing using smoke ever. Wow, I'm learning things. Have I lost my mind? I think I've gone cuckoo crazy. I swear there was smoke. Oh, well, well, I don't know. If you know where the smoke is, well, you better put it out, because that means that... Oh, actually, wow, this thing looks good even when it isn't painted. Okay, where was I? Uh, no, not that. That's what it looks like in my fleet colors. It looks like a... It looks like an Oreo. A delicious, deadly Oreo. Uh, let's uh, load in Scarlet Dawn colors. All right, where was I? Where was I? All right, so... The winning combination, of course, is... If you want to survive this thing shooting at you is combine hiding underwater with shields with smoke. So, uh, I have a brave volunteer for this, the Wolin, whom I happen to know the creator of the Wolin is also very proud of it. So, initial burst is going to, yep, it's going to zap 1% health off the thing, but after that, uh, well, the Wolin can't really damage um, this thing at all. He can distract it. Let's see, what, what did you lose? You lost some stuff. Actually, where did you lose your stuff? Where's the damage? Oh, oh, there it is. Holy moly, yeah, wow, that's a, that's a lot of damage. Almost completely took out the front torpedo compartment. But yeah, so hiding underwater now. So let's see here. You see that laser damage is ticking up quite slowly now. And now it's firing through many, many meters of water against something that is under the water. And it has smoke, so it's got not going to do jack diddly. It is uh, clipping the odd block off, but um, not much. If you have an armored submarine, a yellow armored submarine, in fact, um, that just hides underwater and has decent smoke. What is being shot off here? That looks like... Uh, just slopes. Just slopes, by the looks of it. And... Yeah, so those missiles aren't going to do jack, but again, very good demonstration of how that main weapon can get distracted. It's real pros and cons uh, with laser sewers. 
on the one hand, it is awesome uh, for shooting down big things uh, that will come and kill you, but it also means that the thing launching the big things that are coming to kill you uh, stays alive longer, so it can launch more things that'll come and kill you. That is the technical language for uh, this phenomenon right here. Honest. Okay, so how do you kill this? Well, I'm going to bring in uh, my baby, my honey, my ragtime gal, uh, the Star Slung, to show you an example. Now, keeping in mind the Star Slung is like three times as pricey as this, so it's uh, perhaps not the most fair fight, but it does illustrate that uh, this thing having no decoys is a bit of a weakness. Uh, it might be an intentional weakness, actually. Yeah, this is my... <laughs> So many of my ships are out of date and I've moved them into the folder of shame. Uh, let's go white flares. So, Star Slung also has smoke, so... Doesn't die immediately. Uh, let's see the block confetti, though. So, that's a lot of block confetti. And... There's some crams. And here is a lot of large... Kinetic missiles, and I love these things. These are radar guided, um, but it doesn't even matter because uh, this thing, uh, the Deimos, it doesn't have any way to distract missiles. It can only destroy them, which is kind of badass, really. And doesn't have enough oomph in order to take care of that barrage, and so it does things like that. And that is a lot of damage, lots of damage. So yeah, you don't actually need to mount that on a battleship. If you mount a missile barrage like that on a submarine... Uh, actually, pretend the Star Slung is a submarine. With no crams on it. But then... The crams happen as well. That is actually a really good use of heavy armor. Or demonstration of what heavy armor can do. Because uh, those shells are no joke. Uh, I have seen them rip uh, ships in half. So yeah, they do that. They do that very well. But yeah, so uh, chuck loads of munitions at it, uh, either to distract it or just kind of um, uh, skim through uh, that big laser. Let's see, is it gonna... Yep, it is gonna do fun things like that. 89%. Also, you notice this in... Oh my goodness, what happened there? Not sure what happened, but it definitely hurt. Um, what else, what else, what else? So you'll also notice there's a whole smeg ton of kinetic shells right here. And I did say earlier that kinetic shells don't work uh, fantastically against this uh, wedge armor. Well, uh, if you, for instance, do something wacky like hit it uh, from the side, uh, or hit it... Oh my goodness, that cram shot was right on target. Um, if you're hitting it anywhere but the front, kinetic shells are still one of your best bets. Because, oh my goodness, is that going to do what... Okay, yeah, that's that, that just melted some face. Oh, that's melting a lot of face. Oh dear. Must bear in mind, Star Slung is expensive. Very expensive. Wow, the laser turret is still working. It's not that delicate. It's just, it's the only one. It's an only child weapon system. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, so uh, spamming kinetics at this thing still works. It's, uh, it just takes slightly longer than it would uh, otherwise. And what else, what else, what else? Oh, we gotta... We gotta destroy everything, actually. Destroy everything. Turn the UI back on, because that's a good idea. Load in... Load in a wonderful fortress. Yes, we're going to Project Screw Singularity. I've used this before in a... Uh, Singularity Most Wanted. As it turns out, uh, sniping particle cannons are... Uh, fan Dabby Dozy. Especially if they're loaded with EMP. EMP is slightly broke uh, at the moment. Uh, so let us see here. You are set to EMP. No. No, no, no. EMP. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup, s'il vous plaît, uh, Garcon. Garcon? I don't remember that. Um, and let's spawn in the Deimos. Uh, where are you? There you are. And big EMP jolts. Um, it's partially a game balance thing. Update, still not finalized. And also the fact that, um, well... The Deimos is made out of heavy armor, which does not absorb EMP anymore. Uh, so EMP shots tend to uh, make a bit of a mess of it. So, and in particular, one very important change. We are an alpha test, by the way. Preparing for the future. Zap. Yeah, that. So, um, uh, laser components are vulnerable to EMP. So, which means we've basically just 
Um, not crippled, but severely weakened this thing's main armament and its main defense uh, with one giant EMP jolt. And um, that laser is not going to do nearly as much um, with... That looks like... Yeah, that's all the pumps. That's all the pumps. It's not, it's not going to do nothing, it is. And, yeah, so if you spam any form of EMP at this, um, it'll go straight through it. Yep, there's even more laser gone. Damn, that's a lot of dead laser. That's so much dead laser. EMP, uh, beyond a certain point, um, it can be a main weapon all on its own. Like, you can't really defend against it very well unless you really go nuts on the surge protectors. But yeah, if you EMP this thing, you can kill it stone dead. Um, or at the very least, you can take out its weapon system and then just kind of... Yeah, that's... Whew. I will not get used to that. Look at that. That laser is... There's the smoke again! Where's the smoke hidden in here? Or is that steam? I think that's steam. That might be... That's from the steam engine. Durr. Frickin' durr, I think. Is there broken steam pipes in there? There might be. How would this thing get broken, the steam pipes? I think, that, I think that's the answer. I think uh, it lets off steam when it gets a lot of damage. And uh, one more jolt. Let's see... And AI dead. So, uh, this, uh, keep, uh, keep in mind there's a bit of a asterisk uh, next to um, the use of EMP in this particular case because uh, that might get changed, but for now, and probably in the future, assuming these changes uh, go permanent, um, giant EMP jolts uh, are kind of a problem for anything that uh, has its uh, guts filled with lasers. Or anything that has a brain, really, which is everything. So let's do that, and let us spawn in our friend the Demos again, but on our team, so we can look at it and appreciate its beauty. Because I like this thing, actually. It's kind of cool looking. So here we are, the Demos, and that's basically it, how to kill it. Is The short answer is, uh, it's got a giant... The well, like, It's scary because it's got a giant laser, so if you know how to deal with giant lasers, you know how to deal with this thing. It's not an incredibly dodgy craft, so uh, shoot at it a lot. Whoopsie daisy. Shoot at it a lot with stuff that can defeat heavy armor and EMP its brains out and you'll be a-okay. So, on that merry note, um, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps and there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters, and I will see you next time in From the Depths Most Wanted. Farewell.